Hello everyone, so today we're going to go over how to do a balance sheet for any company. So I have already made a balance sheet. So what we're going to do is open up a new spreadsheet so you can go ahead and follow along. Um, now we also have done the income statement, uh, which we won't use in this video, but if you would like to know how to create a income statement, I'll go ahead and post the link in the description box. So let's get straight, straight to it. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a new spreadsheet. And uh, basically we want to replicate this balance sheet here. So the first thing that we need to do is create the title. So we're going to go ahead and create the title. So we're doing Elvis Products International. And then we're going to go ahead and type in balance sheets in the second row. And then you also want to type in the date. So we're going to go ahead and type in the date in which we're doing the balance sheet for. So it's going to be as of December 31st of 2016. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and customize this. So you start to build a nice, neat format, highlight the rows, use the merge function up top, under the home tab, merge the cells, and then center the title. So you have a nice neat format. The next thing you want to do is start uh, adding the titles on the left-hand side. So we're going to go ahead and copy all of these titles. And so normally you want to list them in this order. Uh, so just to save some time, I've already, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste here. But normally, this is what you're going to need in any balance sheet. You have your assets, uh, and among the assets, we want to divide, or we basically want to separate uh, our current assets versus our fixed assets. So anything that's current is going to be cash, accounts receivables, and inventory and that will give you the total current assets. And then our fixed assets are any plant and equipment and accumulated depreciation. And then we're going to add that and we should get total assets. For liabilities, we have the same similar, um, similar liabilities. We have current liabilities and we have long-term liabilities. Anything that's under one year is going to go underneath accounts payable short-term notes payable, current liabilities, and anything that's more than a year is going to go under long-term debt. And same thing goes for the current assets. Anything that's current is usually less than one year, and then more than one year would be long-term assets or long-term debt. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is add in the owner's equity, uh, which is basically the common stock and retained earnings and that's going to give us our total shareholders equity. And then we're going to go ahead and add the total liabilities with the total owner's equity. All right. Um, so at the end of the balance sheet, we basically want to make sure that our total liabilities and equity is balanced with the total amount of assets. Okay. So let's start plugging in the data. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy some of this data. So I'm going to copy the cash, accounts receivable, and inventory for 2015 and 2016. I'm going to go ahead and copy. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just add the years 2015. All right, now feel free to pause this video so you can plug in the data if you're following along. Um, but I'm pretty much skipping through all the numerical inputs just to save time. And then we'll go ahead and just modify this really, really quick. And so that it looks identical to the left hand side. All right. So now in order for us to add, to figure out or calculate current assets, we basically want to add all of our current assets, which is these cells here from B5 to B7. And then for 2015 it's going to be 5C to 5.7. So 
to make this easy, you want to use the sum fun the function that will add the current assets. And the function is basically equal sign sum. And that's going to give you the addition function for Excel. Double click and then go ahead and highlight the cells that you want to, to add. And then don't forget to close parentheses and click tab. All right, so that gives us our total current assets for 2016. Let's go ahead and drag the formula at the bottom right hand side to 2015. And we should get 2015 current assets. Now you're seeing this because of the format. So the way you want to fix this is go ahead and highlight the entire 2015 just because we're going to need it for the other formulas. Then you're going to go ahead and right click and you want to hit number format. So you notice it's in, it's in it's in the custom category. So we want to basically just get the number value. So we're going to go ahead and click number and hit OK. And that should change us. Now we also want to add the comma formats and we want to get rid of the decimals. We don't want any decimals. All right. So we have our current assets. The next thing we want to do is find out our, our fixed assets. So again, we're going to copy the data and I want to copy plant and equipment and accumulated depreciation. Just like that. And let's go ahead and paste. All right, very good. And now to add our net fixed ink assets, we want to go ahead and basically add plant and equipment and accumulated depreciation. Now, if we look at our other balance sheet, the formula for net fixed assets is B9 minus B10. So that means we have to subtract accumulated depre depreciation from plant and equipment. And the reason is because it's a non-cash expense. So instead of adding accumulated, we need to make sure that we subtract it. All right, so let's go ahead and apply that to our new formula, to our new balance sheet. We're gonna go ahead and equal sign. We're gonna click plant and equipment, subtract accumulated depreciation and hit tab. And that is the correct answer. Let's go ahead and click and drag the, the, the formula to the next column. All right. And so you want to get in the habit of entering the formulas whenever possible because it's just going to save you a lot of time so that you can calculate the next column for the, the next year or the, 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 the previous year. All right. So now to find out our total assets, we want to go ahead and add our total assets. So that's going to be current assets plus. Our fixed assets. So it's a simple formula. Current assets, add fixed assets, tab. And there you have it. Click and drag. All right, so we've calculated our assets. Now, the next step, we need to figure out our total liabilities. Okay, so we'll head over to our balance sheet. We're going to go ahead and copy our current liabilities and paste them to our new balance sheet. There we go. All right, so we're going to use a similar formula to add our current liabilities as the one we use for current assets. Equal sign sum and highlight the columns that you want to add. Close the parentheses and hit tab. That gives us our current liabilities for 2016. And then we'll go ahead and click and drag to 2015 as well. All right, so so far so good. Let's go ahead and now find out what our long-term debt is. Long-term debt is here. And you'll enter in the data. So now we're just going to add our long-term debt with our current liabilities. So simple formula plus long-term debt and then click and drag to apply the formula to the next column. All right, so we have our total liabilities. The last step we need is our shareholders equity. So we need our common stock, all right, which is 460,000. Paste it to the new balance sheet. 
And we also need our retained earnings. And there we have it. Okay, so to calculate total shareholders equity, we're just going to go ahead and add common stock plus retained earnings. And that gives us our total. Click and drag. There we go. All right. And then we finally have our total liabilities and owner's equity. So now what we're, what we're going to do is just go ahead and apply the last formula equal sign. We're going to add our total liabilities plus total shareholder equity. And we're going to go ahead and click and drag. Okay, so you notice that for some reason my 2016 total liabilities and owner's equity does not match my total assets. So that means I input it I had some the wrong data in a certain file. So I'm just going to double check my work here and it looks like it's going to be in my total liabilities. All right. Okay, so I saw, I now I know where I m made a mistake. So this should actually be 54200. So that tells me that my accounts payable should actually be 200 and you notice when I change data because I applied the formulas to the rest of the rows It should change the number to the correct answer and we're gonna go ahead and plus tab and there we go so you see My total liability and equity matches my total assets All right, so there you go. So that's pretty much a balance sheet. So now all we want to do is just finish any last touches so you want to make your balance sheet nice and neat easy to read Let's go ahead and change the color in the background and we're going to add borders to the to separate the liabilities and equity from the assets. All right. Uh, what you can also do is add maybe a bottom border here. We'll go ahead and add a thick border. And then let's add a double border here. So it's nice and easy to read, especially if you are working for a company and you do financial statements, you want to make sure that you create your balance sheet in the in the easiest to read way as possible. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and also add a border at the bottom line here, make that double border, and then the last thing we want to do is maybe highlight some of the key data points here. So some of the key data points are gonna be the total assets. You can go ahead and bold that, and then you can also go ahead and bold. The total liabilities to owner's equity. All right. So now what we can do is compare it. And you see it's pretty identical. Last thing we're missing is maybe some bold title here. And that's how you do a balance sheet. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment box down below. Link and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The next video we're going to make is the last financial statement, which is the cash flow statement. So once we have our income statement and our balance sheet, we're going to go ahead and create what's the cash flow statement. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day.